Hey everybody, I am Logan, one of the managers of the insect department at Josh's Frogs. Uh, I want to talk to you about some of the bugs that we're doing for the green and gold sale. Uh, that's running between uh, March 16th and 21st. 25% uh, off selected items. So what insects are doing, uh, we have our hornworms. Um, these are the smaller size of them. They come in small and they come in large. Obviously the small will grow to be large. A um, little bit about hornworms as a feeder. They have the highest uh, moisture and fat content out of any feeder insects. So not necessarily the best staple um, for your pet, but definitely something to use as a treat as well as um, you know, if your animal needs that extra moisture, let's say like a rehabilitation or something, um, these guys are great. They, you know, contrary to the name, they're not a worm. They're actually a moth larvae. Um, they metamorphosize into a really pretty sphinx moth um, that actually mimics hummingbirds. So if you want to see a cool moth species, just let them pupate. And they could also be used as feeders too. Um, if you do want them to get larger, uh, it is recommended to buy some extra food for them just because once they burn through this food, um, they won't be able to grow anymore, obviously. Um, so we try to get more food made prior to that. Um, but also we can pop them in the fridge for a couple days if you need to slow down their growth. Once they do get a bit bigger, um, they grow really quick. So if they get to the size that's too big for your pet to eat, um, just pop them in the fridge for a day or so. Should be good. But yeah, these are hornworms. They're excellent feeders. Um, the other thing that we're doing for the sale, not a feeder, these are tarantulas. So scientific name is Neotheli NCI, but there's two different morphs here. Uh, first one, this is NCI gold. Um, so this is about, you know, mature size. They're a dwarf species. Um, they do great in communal settings. I don't know if you've heard about like the Balfari tarantula. Those are another one that's great in communal, but so you can keep more than one of them together and they'll do great. Um, they are from the Trinidad area, so New World, so not necessarily um, a high venom yield. They are a, what we call a pet hole. Um, so, you know, for the first bit of their life and, you know, while they're younger, they pretty much spend most of their time underground in their tunnel. Um, unless you're feeding or, you know, getting them out to work on their enclosure or something, you don't really see them that often. Once they get bigger, kind of around this size. Um, they kind of just sit out on the soil um, more often, so you do get to see them more. So this is the gold. They're kind of a more orangish brown hue to them. Um, but the other one is the olive morph. And these are kind of a, it's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but they kind of have this brown green kind of olive keel um, to them and same care, you know, for both of these same species, uh, just different morphs. And so, yeah, they're really fun. Um, not too hard to keep really entertaining for feeding. Um, they come out and they attack their food with a lot of gusto. It's like their first time getting fed every time you drop something in there. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Go ahead and head over to Josh's frogs, check out the spiders, check out the hornworms. We've got a bunch of other stuff we're doing for the sale running from March 16th through 21st. Thanks so much for watching this video. Here at Josh's Frogs, bringing nature to your doorstep is more than just our mission, it's our passion. We want you to have the most successful experience possible. So we're going to be here for you before, during, and after your purchase. Whether that's with our captive bred animals, plants, insects, or the wide variety of their care products on our website. You always have access to our dedicated customer service team, on-site nature experts, hundreds of free articles via our blog, and many more videos right here on our YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe. We're always happy to help. Just shoot us an email or give us a call. You can find all of this information and more at joshesfrogs.com. Thanks again and see you next time.